And now I want us to take a look at the political situation in the country now. This morning we know that um, the Senate, uh, coming, I mean the senators from the Jubilee Party have been invited for a meeting at State House by President Kenyatta, the party leader of Jubilee Party. I just want us to take a look at the leadership of the Jubilee senators uh, in Senate now. The current leader is Kipchuma Murkomen, the majority leader. Fatma Dulo is the deputy majority leader. And the next one we have that... Um, in as far as the leadership is concerned, the current leadership to do with the majority whip is Susan Kihika, the senator for Nakuru, and then Irungo Kangata is the deputy majority whip. And this is likely to change, and we will know in the next uh, few hours. This is the proposed leadership of the Senate. Samuel Pogisho is uh, likely to be the majority leader of the Jubilee um, Party or coalition now. And then also Fatma Dulo will remain as the majority leader, I mean the deputy majority leader. And then in as far as the whips are concerned, it is likely that Irungo Kangata will be the majority whip of uh, the Jubilee Senators and then Johnson Sakaja will be deputizing him, therefore meaning that uh, Susan Kihika is likely to lose her seat. So these are the likely casualties, Kipchuma Murkomen as well as uh, Susan Kihika. Um, uh, then thereafter, there is what we know, there's a coalition agreement that was signed between Kanu and the Jubilee Party on the 4th of May that th therefore uh, will be operating in the current um, term of a parliament, that is the 12th parliament, and thereafter we can look at uh, the responsibilities, the members' responsibilities, that is the members of the Jubilee Kanu Coalition, they have to faithfully and vigorously campaign for the coalition, they have to uphold and support operations of the coalition, they have to respect and defend coalition positions in and out of the executive, legislature and other state offices, and then have to, they have to implement coalition agreement to the letter. And finally, what we know so far is that this is a post-election coalition that has been purely um, reached for purposes of addressing the parliamentary majority of the Jubilee Party in Parliament or County Assemblies, that is in as far as the Jubilee Constitution is concerned. And to speak to us this morning is the uh, Deputy Secretary General of um, uh, the Jubilee Party, Caleb Kositani. He's also the Member of Parliament for Soy Constituency. Good morning, uh, Honorable. Um, were you aware of this coalition between the Jubilee Party and uh, the KANU, the Independence Party? Uh, thank you, Sam, and uh, good morning, Kenyans. We were not aware of uh, this coalition uh, agreement. And uh, it was uh, handled in secrecy the way uh, many other things, even the change of uh, members of the NMC was handled. Uh, what I know, uh, as per our constitution, uh, party constitution, that agreement is uh, null and void because it was not sanctioned by the National Executive uh, Committee of the Jubilee Party. So who sanctioned it? Because now it has already been sent and presented to the Registrar of Political Parties and admitted as a legal document. Well, uh, I have uh, always insisted that there is a cabal that is using Tuju to uh, uh, do illegal things and try and, uh, and uh, uh, suffocate uh, different of Wow, uh, unfortunately we appear to have uh, lo lost Caleb Kosita and you will shortly be linking up with him but obviously we're looking at the Sorry. situation, in, well, well we have you back. So you are saying that uh, the agreement is uh, null and void yet it has been uh, deposited with the Registrar of Political Parties? Yes, you can see that there's a lot of games going on uh, uh, between the cabal and the, those who we have been called the deep, who are called the deep state. Mm -hmm. You can remember that uh, when Tuju purported to have made changes to the National Management Committee of uh, Jubilee, I wrote a, I raised an objection with several other members of Parliament and uh, Kenyan citizens who are members of Jubilee, mm -hmm. and the Registrar of Political Parties was very clear in her reply that the Jubilee Party should go and sort out the issues in-house. Mm -hmm. uh, that has not happened because we expected the president or rather the party leader to call a neck meeting. That has not happened. Mm -hmm. uh, then after that you saw two you went ahead and uh, uh, put the advert in the newspaper without even the Jubilee logo. I don't know why they are hiding, why they are ashamed of using the Jubilee logo. Mm -hmm. I went ahead and put an advert with the Jubilee logo to dispel uh, the notion that those names had been accepted. Mm -hmm. uh, then yeah, immediately after that the position, the Registrar of Political Parties is in an acting position. She's acting. But immediately after that, her position, the position was advertised. So what does that tell you? She must have been told, we are bringing in a coalition agreement, mm -hmm. accept it, or you will not get the job. But uh, we are up to the task, we are ready, and we want to say that uh, we will strictly insist that the law is followed. That is all we ask.
Okay, all right. I, um, you, you, I don't know how you will do that because this morning we know that there's a meeting at State House of the Senators from the Jubilee Party and I also believe from the Kanu side because now it's a coalition. Are you aware of, have you heard of the changes that we just referred to and uh, uh, w what do you think from where you sit as the P Deputy P Party Secretary General? From where I sit, I think uh, the party leader should not be involved in uh, breaking the law. He, he swore when uh, he was sworn in and his deputy in Kasarani to defend, protect, and uphold the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. State House should be the last place whereby we are holding an illegal meeting which is going to come out with illegal resolutions. Mm -hmm. uh, I also think even in future we should not be holding party meetings in State House so that people can have the free will. So um, let's wait and see because um, as, we, as we sit now, we don't, certainly we're only speculating that they will make some changes, mm -hmm. but let's wait and see uh, the outcome and then we will make a decision then. Mm -hmm. Of course, the, we are, there has not been a meeting of uh, the party organs for a very long time and now finally it's happening in State House. I mean, if these changes come to effect, what then do you do? Well, Sam, I think um, if these changes come into effect, one thing that is very clear in my mind and is very clear is in there in black and white in the party constitution, the political parties act and the constitution of the Republic of Kenya is those who are pushing for these changes will have committed an illegality. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure our courts are independent and uh, we shall fight to the last uh, uh, root of justice so mm -hmm. that we can serve Kenyans and members of Jubilee specifically. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, well, he just put us on hold, but all the same. Sorry. Uh, y yes, you are I'm concluding, back. and I wanted to ask you, do you have yes. any information whether the senators, especially from Elgio Marquette um, and Nakuru, will be attending that meeting at State House? Caleb, we're having challenges, but I'm asking you, do you have any information? Yes. If, you, if you can tilt your screen, we need to see you properly. Well, um, do, you have it, do you have any information... Right. Do you have any information whether the senators of uh, Nakuru and El Geo Marakot will be attending that meeting at State House this morning? Well, I don't know whether they will be attending, but in my opinion, uh, I would advise them not to. Because uh, a meeting that has been called in a very clandestine manner is not worth attending. Let those who are uh, the yes people, those who are want to stuff for democracy, let them go, uh, suffocate democracy, let them go for that meeting. But I think any rightful thinking senator will wait in the Senate and uh, fight for justice on the floor of the Senate. Well, um, thank you so much, Kale Kosita. I wish you had more time to uh, ventilate on more issues about that. But all the same, uh, he is the member of parliament for Soy constituency. He's also the deputy uh, secretary general of... Um, what did I say? He's also the deputy, deputy secretary general of the Jubilee Party. He says that he does not recognize the coalition agreement between Kanu and the Jubilee Party. But what we know, it was deposited with the Register of Political Parties on the 4th of May. And therefore, that becomes the post-election um, coalition for the two parties. And what we know is that it is expected as some of the leaders that are lead the coalition at the Senate are likely to be changed. We just give you uh, those slides. We will wait to see as soon as that happens. That meeting is this morning. We'll be bringing you the latest in as far as that is